All right, you guys, uh, this lesson is called Graphing Using the Slope-Intercept Form. So our essential question is how can we uh, use what we know about solving equations into solving for a variable? Remember, when we solve equations, we use PEMDAS backwards. We'll get into that in just a bit. So how can we predict what points comes next in a linear situation when graphing? Okay, all that will be discussed in this video right here. So graphing using the slope-intercept form. So a line that is in slope-intercept form, everybody has seen this before, is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is where the y-intercept is, okay? The y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis. That's the one that goes up and down, okay? The x-axis goes left and right. We'll discuss that in just a second, okay? So um, identify the slope and the y-intercept. Okay, so this is so easy, it's kind of embarrassing, you guys. So y equals negative 2x minus 1. It's this easy, you guys. Your slope is this one right here, and your, and I'm sorry, your slope is this one. It's not that easy. Uh, and this is my y-intercept right here. This is my slope, the one that's next to the x, and this is my y-intercept right there, okay? Easy, huh? How about this one? Oh, it's a little bit different. What we need to do here is solve for y, you guys, and get it in the form of y equal mx plus b. So let's first solve for y. So to solve equations, we do PEMDAS backwards. So instead of getting rid of this three times, I'm going to get rid of this plus x over here. So I'm going to do it backwards and go subtract x, subtract x over here, okay? Now I'm going to put, um, uh, these are going to cancel when I do that. x minus x cancels. I bring down the 3y equals... Now, instead of writing it 9 minus x, I'm going to write it as negative x plus 9 to get it in mx plus b form. So it's going to be uh, 3y equals negative x plus 9. Now, I want to get rid of this 3, so I'm going to divide by 3 because this says 3 times y. So we do the opposite. So divide by 3, divide by 3, divide by 3. So everything gets a 3 underneath it, okay? These 3s are going to cancel. There's an imaginary 1 right here, so I'm going to go ahead and insert that in the next slide right here. Put the negative 1 there, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. Okay, so I get y equals negative 1 third x plus 3. So here's my y equals mx plus b. So here's my slope, negative 1 third, and my, my y-intercept is that 3 right there. Okay? So, uh, easy, huh? Let's try another one like that, okay? 2x plus 5y equals negative 10. All right, so let's go ahead and solve for y. We're going to get rid of that 2x first, so I'm going to subtract 2x, subtract 2x, okay? Piece of cake. And I'm going to write it with the negative 2x first, so this is going to be negative 2x minus 10. Here's my 5y. Those are going to cancel, okay? So 5y equals negative 2x minus 10. Now divide by 5, divide by 5, divide by 5, okay? And then uh, 10 divided by 5 is 2, so I get, um, uh, here's my slope. And the, and the negative always floats out in front of the fraction. So it's negative 2 fifths x minus 2. So here's the slope. Don't forget to label it because the direction said find the slope. The slope is negative 2 fifths. And the y-intercept is not 2. It's negative 2. Don't forget the negative. So the slope is negative 2 fifths. And the y-intercept is negative 2. Okay? All right, so when we graph equations, you guys, we're going to first uh, graph. It's easiest if it's in y equals mx plus b form. It's easiest to go to the y-intercept. So my y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis, okay? So my y-axis is this vertical one right here. So I'm going to go up to 4 and put a point right there. So there's a point right there for the y-intercept. Now I'm going to use this slope right here, negative two-thirds, okay? That slope um, uh, is negative two-thirds, and we'll learn in just a second. It's rise over run, okay? So rise tells me how much do I go up or down. This is negative, so, and always put the negative on top. So for the rise over run part, always put the negative on top. So I'm going to go down three, I'm sorry, down two to the right three from here from here go down two one two because it's negative and then to the right three one two three so I'm gonna put a point right there okay and since this is a linear equation this is a line so let's go ahead and make a line out of that and then if you're in my class we're gonna be graphing several lines together not in this lesson, but uh, in the future we are. So I would like you to label the line. So put the equation next to the line, okay? That tells me that you know that this equation represents this line right here, okay? So we went to that 4 right there, this plus 4. And then from there, 
we went down two to the right three down two to the right three and then connect them up and then label it with the equation okay piece of cake let's try it with this one okay so first I'm going to go to um, uh, this y-intercept at plus five so I'm going to go up here to plus five and put a point right there okay and then I'm going to use this slope this slope is negative two what's underneath negative two one is okay so that means I'm going to go down two to the right one okay so down two to the right one down two to the right one it always goes to the right so if it's positive you go up if it was a positive 2x I'd go up two to the right one but it's negative so I'm going to go down two to the right one okay and then um, so there's that always connect it with a line and don't forget to label it with your equation right there okay all right easy enough okay here this one now I bet you your other teachers uh, on campus are going to teach you to solve for y and you can solve for y if you want just like we did uh, a minute ago we can solve this for y and graph it no problem but I'm going to use what's called the intercept method when it's in this form this is called standard form this we taught this in the last lesson standard form is really easy if we let x be 0 and get rid of that and solve for y and then let y be 0 get rid of that and solve for x and you just need two points that determines a line so here I'm going to let x be 0 solve for y let y be 0 solve for x and those will be my intercepts right there okay so when I let x be 0 the 5x goes away I'm left I'm still left with the negative negative 2y equals negative 10 that goes right here and then when y is 0 it gets rid of the 2y so I'm left with 5x equals negative 10 that's what that says right here Okay, so negative 2 goes into negative 10. Negative divided by negative is a positive, so I get 5. And then positive 5 goes into negative 10. A negative divided by a positive is a negative, negative 2. Okay, this is my, my y-intercept at 5, and my x-intercept is at negative 2. So let's go ahead and graph 5 and negative 2. My y-intercept is up there at 5. My x-intercept is at negative 2. Don't forget to connect them with the straight line. Don't forget to label it with your equation that you started with, okay? Piece of cake. All right. So finding the slope of a line. If it goes through two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2, then just use the slope formula. y goes on top, you guys. y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Now, how I remember which one goes on bottom is x has two little legs to it, and it would hold up this table better than if y were downstairs. So whatever stupid gimmick you need, you guys, that's my dumb gimmick right there. Since x has two legs right there, these x's, it'll hold this table up better. So the x's go on bottom, the y's go on top. Okay, so, um, uh, and if you're given a picture, then we just go rise over run. You go from a point uh, that's to the left and go to a point on the right and go, uh, how much did it go up or down and how much did it go to the right? Okay, rise over run. Okay, and a vertical line has an undefined slope, so a vertical line is uh, up and down, so it's undefined. Okay, that's when uh, zero is in the denominator. And uh, if it's a horizontal line like this, horizontal lines have slope zero. Okay, all right, whoops, this is a different lesson right here. Let me get rid of that right there. Okay, so uh, sorry about that. Uh, let's see. So find the slope of each line. I picked that out of a different lesson. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and try it. Okay, so uh, passes through these two points, negative 4, 2, and 2, comma 6. So here's my slope formula. So my slope formula is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. This is my x1, y1. This is my x2, y2. So my x1, y1 is negative 4, 2. My x2, y2 is uh, 2, 6. Okay, notice I did my y's in red and my x's in blue. Okay, so the red goes on top and the blue goes on bottom. So 6 minus 2 over 2 minus a minus 4. So that's going to become a 2 plus 4. Okay, 6 uh, minus 2 is 4, 2 plus 4 is 6, and then of course reduce that when you can. 2 goes into that 2 times, into that 3 times, so I get 2 thirds. Okay, let's try this one, a picture. Okay, when you got a picture, you start on the point that's on the left, and from this point, we're going to go to this point. Okay, so here, here's the rise. It went up 2, that's positive, and it went to the right 3, that is positive. So rise over run. Okay, so if it's given a picture, then we use rise over run. So my rise is 2, my run is 3. Can you see that? It went up 2 to the right 3, so there's my slope, 2 thirds. Okay, okay this one. 
it's going through this point and this point. So go start at the point on the left. This time it goes down two to the right one. So the slope is uh, uh, rise over run. So it goes down two. See it go down two and then to the right one. So it's negative two. Okay. All right. Uh, what else? So it passes through. Let's try this, you guys. So it passes through two, four, and six, two. Okay. So there's my slope formula. You plug them in. So this y minus this y over this x minus this x. Okay. Y sub two minus y sub one over x sub two minus x sub one. Okay. X always comes first. It's like the alphabet. X comes before y. So x comes before uh, y in an ordered pair. Okay, 2 minus 4 is negative 2. 6 minus 2 is 4. So negative 2 over 4 is negative 1 half. All right, one more, you guys. Uh, passes through these two points, 5, 2 and 5, 8. Okay, here's y2 minus y1, 8 minus 2. x2 minus x1, 5 minus 5 is 0. Okay, so I get uh, 6 over 0. Now, whenever you have, uh, let me show you have a graph of this, you guys. When I graph uh, 5, 2, if I go over 5, up 2, and then graph 5, 8, go over 5, up 8. Can you see it's going to make uh, those two points right there? There's the red one, there's the blue one. So this red one is this one, this blue one is this one. And if I connected them with a line, it would make a nice vertical line. Vertical lines are undefined, you guys. So you say undefined slope. And so whenever you have 0 on the bottom, just think of the 0. It won't hold up a table. It would make it fall over. So if zero's on the bottom, it won't hold up a number on top. That's my stupid gimmick how to remember this. So it's an undefined slope. If you have zero in the top, you guys, that always equals zero, and that would be a horizontal line. Okay, I hope that helps you guys. Take care.